Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that I've been gone for like a month or two, probably two, maybe even three. It's been a couple months and uh, stuff's happened. So anyways, today's video, I'm going to be doing a real time stick and poke tutorial kind of type thing. It's not a tutorial because if I say that people freak out. But basically, um, I am going to be showing you how I do my stick and pokes. Um, I'm going to do little glitters beside one of my tattoos. You'll see what I mean. It's like little glitter spec design. You'll, you'll see. But um, yes, so I'm going to talk about what I use to tattoo, show you the entire process, some tips and tricks. So stay tuned if you want to see that. Before we get started though, I frequently get asked what I'm talking about when I say that I have antibacterial soap or what brand I use. So this is what it is. It is the Shield Plex liquid hand wash. It is antibacterial and it eliminates more than 99.9% .9 of common bacteria and germs. Um, I found this at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them in there in a long time, but you can get them on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. So definitely check that out. And before we get started, I also just want to say thank you so much to Italo Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are looking to treat yourselves or somebody else that you love, oh my god, check out their jewelry. I wanted to quickly show you some very beautiful rings that Italo Jewelry was kind enough to send me. So I'm going to show you the packaging first because it's beautiful. You open it up. Sorry, it's hard to show with this angle, but it says Italo Jewelry. It's a beautiful little, there you go. That's the spirit. Magnetic box. That was so creepy. Okay. Then it comes with a nice little jewelry pouch. It comes with disinfection certification. So it shows you how they cleaned it before sending it out and everything due to these fun times that we're in. This is a 925 sterling silver certificate for both of the rings that they sent me. So it has all of that information on here. And then they have some return and exchange conditions. Um, all of their warranty information and a jewelry care guide also comes with a silver polishing cloth and then this is what it looks like so they sent me two rings and they come in these really cute little jewelry boxes so i'm gonna open it up and show you oh my gosh excuse the nail polish on my hand there guys but so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna hold it there so you guys can see it. So I got a size seven here for this one. They are meant to be engagement rings, um, but because I'm not wearing them for that, I got different sizes to wear them on different rings, you know, or different fingers, geez. Treat yourself, girl. So I'm gonna... There we go. Oh geez, I need to focus better. My camera doesn't want to stay in focus. And this is what that bad boy looks like on. Beautiful. So this is a rose gold um, toned sterling silver, 925. My camera really doesn't like focusing right now and I apologize, but oh yeah, there you go little zoom in on that so there's that one comes in the same pretty little box you open it up 
I'm gonna try to focus. Once again, excuse the nail polish on my hand. I just did my nails. And guys, this one wraps all the way around. It is so gorgeous. So a little close up here. My hand, my finger looks a little swollen right now. Not sure why, but. Okay, you guys. Look at that. They are so pretty. So yes, that I just want to step in and say thank you so much to Tallow Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are looking to treat yourself or a friend or a family member, definitely go check them out. They have really gorgeous pieces at awesome prices. So yes, thank you so much guys for sponsoring today's video. If you guys liked what you just saw, make sure to check out their website. The link will be in the description below as well as a discount code. So don't forget to check them out. They have great prices, free worldwide shipping, one year warranty and 60 day returns. If you don't totally love your jewelry, make sure you guys have a look at their website and see if anything sparkly catches your eye. <laughs> All right, on with the video. Almost forgot before I start tattooing, it wouldn't be a SCK floral video. I don't want to curse in these anymore. I'm trying not to at least so I can still be monetized. If we didn't, you know, say cheers. So cheers. Okay, here we are. So my stencil is right here. Um, we're adding some little glitter to the piss off that somebody else did. That's why it's messy AF. I had three pieces, as you can see, like three little specks of glitter happening there. Um, but when I put the stencil on, it was too close to my nails so I'm just going to be doing the two. I figured a nice little tattoo would be a good idea for this video so you guys can really get a close-up of what I'm doing and everything I'm using. Please don't hate me for sitting on my floor while I do this. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get hate for that so whatever but I do have a nice little sanitary area beside me here with paper towel laid down and all my supplies on it. So before we begin I am going to just go through what I am using today. So First and foremost, to get the stencil on, I used um, DLD stencil primer that I actually just got from Amazon. Uh, but if you want stuff that's gonna be real trusty, I would get it from a tattoo a supply store online. Any one that you are familiar with should carry it. Dragonhawk Tattoo Supply is always a good one to check out if you want one. And the ink I'm using is Viking Ink Black Dynamite got this from Amazon as well. Once again, maybe wouldn't recommend that. There's a lot of fakes on Amazon. This one, however, is real, but um, if you are shopping on Amazon for a tattoo ink, just be really careful. I do suggest getting it from a tattoo supply store as well. Okay, and then I'm also using, so I put this on already to wipe down the area. Uh, do that before you apply the stencil, obviously, or else you're gonna wipe your stencil off with it. And then I'm using petroleum jelly. I put a little layer on before I tattoo and while I'm tattooing, I just find that it helps the ink actually really get into the skin. And then last but not least, we are going to be using 1207 RL needles today. And that is all I have to say before we get into this video. So let's start tattooing if I can get this needle open. There we go. Okay, so 
watch when I'm doing it, just watch the angle I go on. You try to go on a 45 degree angle from the skin, so like so. You don't want it going side, like, you know, flush with the skin, because if you do that, you're just gonna rip your skin open and the ink will not stay. You will scar yourself. So, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that petroleum jelly, wipe it on. You also want to make sure that you're stretching the skin as you tattoo um, so that it actually, you know, goes in properly. Getting some more ink on my needle there. Okay, so the first... What, what do you even call it again? Why am I blanking? The first go over I'm gonna call it right now because I'm seriously blanking for the first little glitter there is done. So I'm gonna do the second one and then I'll give it a wipe so that uh, if the stencil wipes off with it, I'll still have like a little outline from what I just tattooed. Oh my God, my leg is going numb. Giving more ink. Anytime you see my needle drop away like that for a little bit, I'm just dipping in the ink pot again, just so you know. That is indeed what I am doing. Okay. Oh, that's what I remember. The first pass is complete. So I'm dipping a fresh piece of paper towel into some water here and I'm just going to give it a wipe. And we'll see what we have left over. Alrighty. So you can see that's what's left so far of the tattoo that I just did. Um, it clearly needs another pass or two, so we are going to continue with that now.
Okay, grabbing a new fresh piece of paper towel and giving it a wipe again. So you can see with every pass, the lines start to thicken up again. So I'm just gonna do, I think one more pass should be good. See if this will be the last pass. It may or may not need one more, but oh no, that's good. That's how I wanted it. Nice. So I really hope that helped showing you guys like in real time what I'm doing, how I'm like stretching the skin and the angle I'm do working on. I hope my hands didn't cover the video too too much. If it did, I really do apologize. Um, but yeah, so you can see it's kind of starting to bleed a bit, but it's all done, and as you can see, it took me under 10 minutes to do that tattoo. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in a another... wait, no, this isn't even my outro. I hope you guys like the tat. As you can see, my lines are improving. That's very smooth, very quick. All right. See in a sec. All right, now that the tattoo is all finished, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm just gonna go over some quick aftercare for what I would do for that size of a stick and poke. Um, so I just wiped it down with um, the antibacterial soap and water when I was finished, and I left my pant leg rolled up until it was completely dry. I didn't bandage it because. Um, it is so small that it's going to heal kind of similar to a cat scratch would. So I'm just going to leave it to air dry and I'll be washing it every day. Tomorrow I will be leaving it, just washing it. And then the next day I'll start with moisturizing. So yes, that is how I will be doing my aftercare with this one. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will not be so long awaited as this one was. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 10k. I nearly crapped my pants when I got the notification. So um, I love you with all my heart. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you to Italo Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. That was a loud clap. And I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up um, or a thumbs down, you know, do your thing. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free and make sure that you leave a comment uh, If you have any questions concerns, etc. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye